When in the machine shop lab, it is important that you always wear safety glasses, long pants, closed-toed shoes, and remove sweatshirt strings, and tie back long hair. In this video, we'll be facing the end of the stock, turning the outer diameter, and then parting the final part. Some key parts of the manual lay that we'll be using is the carriage, which controls the Z and X directions of the tool, the chuck, which holds the stock, and the headstock, which has the speed controls. On the carriage, the carriage wheel controls the Z direction of the tool. and the cross slide controls the X direction of the tool. Once you know the proper speed, determine whether the value is on the inner or outer ring of the dial. On the switch below, select low speed if the desired value is on the inner ring of the dial, or select high speed if the value is on the outer ring of the dial. After you've selected the inner or outer ring, if the desired speed is in the black, move the handle to the left and use the dial to select the value. If it is in the yellow, move the handle to the right and then select the value. The next step is to insert your stock. The chuck key is needed to open the chuck. Insert the chuck key into the chuck and turn to open it. Then insert the stock and make sure to minimize overhang to prevent deflection. Once the stock is secure, put the chuck key back. It is important to never leave the chuck key in the chuck. For facing the end of the stock, a carbide facing tool will be used. The tool is placed in the tool holder and then closed tight using the handle. Next, move the tool so that the tip of the insert is in line with the center of the stock, but not touching the stock. To start the spindle so that it is spinning towards you, pull the power lever up. Move the tool in the Z direction to gently touch off with the workpiece. Once contact is made, bring the tool toward you to complete the facing operation. It is important to wait for the chuck to come to a complete stop before touching the workpiece or tool. To turn the outer diameter, gently touch off on the outside of the workpiece, then move the tool away from the workpiece in the Z direction. Next, zero the cross slide dial. And then move the tool into the desired depth of cut. Once the desired depth of cut has been set, move the tool towards the workpiece in the Z direction and cut to the desired length. Once the desired length has been reached, move the tool away from the workpiece at a constant feed rate to keep a good surface finish. After the spindle has stopped, a parting tool will be used to part off the workpiece. First, locate where you want to part off and bring the tool away from the workpiece in the X direction. Start the lathe and slowly move the parting tool into the workpiece. Periodically, back the tool off to allow the tool to cool and chips to clear.
continue until the part falls off. After the parting operation is complete, remove the stock from the chuck using the chuck key. Again, remember not to leave the chuck key in the chuck. When you are finished using the machine, clean up your work area. 